congressman. No, no, no. You get to call me Charlie. Can we uh, get you a drink? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm, fair enough, I guess. I'm just wondering what you do for a living. I'm Charlie Wilson. I represent the Texas second... <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing on the border between Pakistan and Afghanistan. Afghans are now ready to fight a war against the Soviets. If they get weapons, they say they will win. This is the sixth wealthiest woman in Texas. Joanne. I have been passionately involved with the cause of the Afghans since the day the communists marched in. Why is Congress saying one thing and doing nothing? Well, tradition mostly. You sit at the intersection of the State Department, the Pentagon, and the CIA. The three agencies you would need to conduct a covert war. Yeah. I want the CIA in my office at 10. What is U.S. strategy in Afghanistan? Well, strictly speaking, we don't have one, but we're working hard on that. Who's we? Me and three other guys. I need airplanes, guns, and money. A sudden influx of modern weaponry would draw attention. Draw attention? This is the Cold War. Everybody knows about it. There must be some kind of way out. You're going to Israel next week and wait to attack Pakistan on the end of your trip. This meeting is going to be around professional. A friend of mine's belly dancer. While she's dancing for the defense minister, we'll be talking to his deputy. Oh, my God. Ah, she's supposed to be good. This thing is going to get done by the CIA, and it's going to get done quietly. You have authority to do this? None whatsoever. So bye-bye, Miss American Pie. How is it possible that this congressman of no particular importance is doing this by himself? <laughs> and them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing this'll be the day that I die. This'll be the day that I die. Where does this rank relative to other covert wars? There's never been anything else like it. Can we get you a drink? Oh, I'd love any kind of whiskey. We don't have alcohol in the presidential residence. Bet a lot of people make that mistake. <laughs> no. Zhao is a good worker. Hey, Jiao, go to the cinema. Here, you don't need it. A good man. Your body has a little problem. What kind of problem? I think I'm very handsome. And a good father. Dad, you're doing what? Go! Go! But when his son wants something, this toy is called Changjiang One. Students have it. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. He just can't afford. Okay, we're going. Let's go. Let's go. He knows just where to go. I have a toy that is stronger than Changjiang One. Do you want to see it? Let's see. Let's see. Are you from the Red Planet? 哇，这种高科技的玩具我还真没见过，我弹力这么强。From Stephen Chow, director of Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle. 今天考试，但是昨天是在跟你玩，我要好好复习，可不可以帮帮忙啊 ？Comes a comedy that's out of this world. CJ7 Hey, this is fun. Women 
call him Good Luck Chuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're a lucky charm. You have sex with someone and then they find their true love. Isn't that how it works? Has everybody lost their minds? That's ridiculous. I guess you are a lucky charm. Buddy, you got the ticket to the big show. You have 108 messages. Yeah, I don't do that with men. This is Molly, Jenny, Danielle, Stacy. This is Bob. Just hear me out. But now... I'm Cam. I'm Charlie. I... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes! <laughs> what seems like a blessing... Cam's the one man. What makes you think I'll be kissing you, huh? Oh! All right. Oh. Feels like a curse. If you sleep with her, she's gonna marry the next guy she dates. Started calling all your exes. They're married. It's real. I oh, really hate you. You look great. Here you go. To get the girl of his dreams, Chuck will do anything. I've got to put the curse to the test. I actually thought that maybe we could get physical. I'm gonna ride you till you die. <laughs> True love. Now? Where do I get this? <laughs> never been so hard. Does your phone receive pictures? Jane Cook, Jessica Alba, and Dan Folger. Good luck, Chuck. What's sex without love? Sex! It's still sex! Council is in session. We've had a proposal for the building of a casino from the Book of Samuel. If I don't deliver this casino, they're going to be pissed off. The Lord brings death. They drown somebody in the river, if you know what I mean. He brings down to the grave. You see, now I got to wipe out the whole family. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. Greed killed my son. He raises the poor from the dust. Our ancestors always spoke of a man that would come from the north. He seats them with princes. He's keep on riding, mister. This ain't none of your business. And has them inherit the throne of honor. Amen. <laughs> 